Hello everybody and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays Hearts of Iron 4. Now I did lose about four or five minutes of footage due to a little recording problem and I do again apologize that uh, I missed a few days. I've been ill and haven't been able to uh, record. I physically haven't been able to. I uh, Anybody who was watching my last live stream know that I literally lost my entire voice and couldn't say a single word. Um, so I wasn't able to record. But uh, World War II started. As you know, I got beaten to Hungary by Germany through an alliance. They joined the the Axis uh, three hours before I was able to for, uh, fornicate. <laughs> I was almost going to say fornicate a claim. Fabricate a claim on Hungary. Uh, they almost immediately then declared war on Romania. Romania joined the Allies, which in essence sparked World War II because the Allies is uh, France, the United Kingdom, uh, you know, the Commonwealth States, uh, the British Raj, um, and now Romania. So the the Axis are at war with the Allies now. Uh, I have stayed out of it because I didn't feel like it was my my necessarily uh, it was my place to to kind of stick my nose into that into that bonfire there. I'm kind of mi mixing metaphors here. I'm still not all there, aren't I? Are, are I? Are, are I? Man, I, I'm really out of it. Sorry about that. Doped up on uh, on drugs. Full going on two weeks now of having a cold slash flu. It's been absolutely brutal. So we're befriending Greece at the moment. So uh, we're going to have Italy, Bulgaria, and Greece in on this little alliance. And I believe, if I remember correctly, I was uh, fornicating. Yes, I did it on purpose that time. Uh, no, I'm not. Um, but we're going to justify a war goal against Turkey. And send that off. Uh, it's... It's not going to be easy, but what I plan on doing is basically Japan join the Axis. Interesting. Um, uh, I plan on because normally what happens you you, you go to a, uh, you know a land war with Turkey, you get to Istanbul, and they they stack all their units up there, and it just causes a problem. So what I'm actually going to do if I can take Istanbul, if I if I can blitz through here quickly, that's one thing. Uh, but if it goes the way I think it will, what I'm going to do is have a land you know a land force that's going to bottle down their units in Turkey, and then I'm going to have a, because I do have a uh, dominant navy, I'm going to have a sea landing right over here, and cut off the Bosphorus and wipe those units out. That'll leave the rest of the um, Anatolian Peninsula area open for me. And we just got upgraded Artie, which is good. Armored Operations. So that is Land Doctrine. Going down this path here. Supply consumption minus 10%. I will take that. A maintenance company. Excavation 3. Okay, we're doing pretty good. Uh, I don't think this is going to get very, very far. Germany has to make sure they keep their um, their northern coast garrison and the, the border with France because they are at war, right? If I remember correctly. Germany, Hungary, Slovakia. Yeah. So, so that is a thing. So we got that. Let's check in everything out we can do. Oh, that's a little head. Air Doctrine. Do naval stuff if we wanted to. Convoy sailing, submarine operations. Haven't done anti-tank yet, but haven't really needed it yet. Well, we could. We are using the L6s right now. We could, we, we could if we want, basically commit to... Although, you know what? Yeah, why don't... Well, let's just make sure that there's no... Yeah. Why don't we do that? Uh, let's work on some medium tanks. Um, I definitely feel like going heavy tanks in this game right now is kind of unbalanced. It doesn't work out that well. So we got the uh, the border with Germany garrison. We got the Hungarian border garrison. Uh, I have to remember where all these people are. Okay, this is the French border, which I'm not too worried about. Oh, these are my tanks right over here. So why don't we do this? Right, like that. And somebody told me, because I was complaining in a video that you can't have a uh, one army have a, a you know a front that spans multi multi nation borders, but somebody told me that you could if you just manually edit it. But no, you you cannot. He said if you just clicked and drag, you could, but no, you can't. All right, tried it out, didn't work. And the black army, yeah, black army is right here. Do we have any? We do have people recruiting right now, right? More tanks. What our stockpiles look like? Uh, lots of infantry equipment. That's good. 
And tanks. Close air support's good. Fighters are low on. We're good. We're pretty good on most things. We're upgrading to infantry equipment too. Alright, not too bad. We could probably cut back on tanks a little bit. Um, we have a good surplus of them. Alright, what do we got over here? This is uh, our fighters and some close air support. We can move them over here. 400 planes. Let's get our... F oh. uh, and, okay, what well, is this? That's us going after Turkey. There, close air support. Let's put you there. Who do we got here? That's uh, more fighters. And that's my naval bombers. Tactical bombers. Tactical bombers. Such an odd number, 288. Let's uh, knock it up to three. Let's move them right there. These ones are in my land. These ones are in Bulgaria. Bulgaria has 48 fighters as well. All right, cool. Ooh, we're low on trucks, it looks like. So let's knock each plane type down to one. Because I, ne I definitely need those trucks. That is something um, I, de I definitely can't go without. Oh, free civilian factories. Good. Good, that means we can work on some stuff. So we can't build anything down here. I mean, I, my initial instinct is just build more uh, oil, rubber. Oil and rubber is definitely something we're low on. Get a little bit, uh, get a little bit done ourselves. I mean, we're, we we do have some coming ourselves, and if I want to, I can get some from well, trade, uh, oil. Where's Romania? Get what we need. Well, we only need three. What about rubber. Nowhere, no one I really want to trade with. But well, that's okay. That's uh, some fresh tanks. All right, let's make sure they get added on over here. If I believe correctly, these are fully motorized. I did edit that. Yeah, this is why I needed so many trucks. Because I, I replaced all of the uh, the cavalry with, full, with regular motorized divisions. That's why. I do have cavalry here too if I want it. And these guys did get arty. They have support arty as well. Okay, they're pretty good. Questions Turkish sovereignty. So what we're going to want to do is take somebody. Let's see, I'm not I'm not too worried about this actually. Um Let's move them here. Where's my navy? Convoy raiding patrol surface fleet these guys right here um they're gonna go patrol well can i it'll re will it reset if i doesn't seem to want to reset well here because we're gonna have to here here and here let's not have access okay so that means we would have to land like over on this side because we don't have access through here okay that's okay Well, we do have a. We have our our submarines here. We're not doing anything, but they're going to be on. So I am going to go to war. So, convoy raiding there. It's the only place to do it really. Well, they could do it. Wait, the submarines should be able to get through here. Trade can pass, but submarines can't. Okay, never mind. Uh, I don't think this will pull the allies. I don't. I don't think they'll go to war with the. You know, join the allies for this. But just in case, you know what? I don't know what's going to happen. I, they might join a faction. So let's, oof. Um, let's let's see if we can. God damn it! That's so annoying. 
Hmm. Well, I can I can put in more infantry divisions pretty easily right now. So let's say train, add, 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 uh, five, uh, right over here. Yeah, they had all their equipment. Okay, good. Uh, good. So you guys go there, do that. I'm going to take one, two, how many do I got here? That's eight. Eight. I just need two more. Nine, ten. Damn it. Now they do they do not make it easy, do they? Kinda kinda wonky. Um Alright, so you guys are going to frontline this because who knows, maybe they'll join the Axis. You guys will get a new commander. Who I do not have. New commander. Carlos Rocotti Magnani. Okay, so you, skill level one. You are coming right here. All your men. Gonna do a naval invasion from here. Two. Well, can I if I get this is ideal right here. Because I need to get a port. I need to control one side and, a, and I need to get a port. Soviet Union declared war on Poland. Can I even, I don't think I can get up here. Well, we'll uh, we'll set it up like that and see how it see how it works. So this is interesting. The Soviet Union declared war on Poland. Well, we'll see how that works out. For friend Greece, Italy seeks support from Greece. So can we invite them to the faction? Fight to faction. Ne Potas is 86, negative 200. Base reluctance, non-aligned. Uh, neither they are at war. Greece has neutral foreign policy. So let's... Um... Prove relations. That didn't get us too far, did it? And this gets us a claim on Turkey. Uh, befriend Romania. They're already in the Axis. Huh. Well. We're already fabricating a claim. So, why don't we get uh, better, better ships going? That's probably the best idea. And we're just gonna, we're just gonna let this go. See how long it, see, see how, see how it goes. Guaranteed by France. This would... I'll accept that, actually. This would put me at war with the Allies as well. So we have a non-aggression pack with the Axis. So what we're going to do is put... Th where's the five? These two together. And... Because we have a non-aggression pack with the Axis now. And France in there. So we can go through Switzerland. But that would be difficult without, like, paratroopers. And you guys are going to need an actual plan. See if they can storm Istanbul quickly and get across the Bosphorus. That would preclude the need for a naval invasion. All right, so this is definitely turning out interesting. Um, if I go to war with Turkey, the Allies join. And, oh, Romania is an ally. I forgot about that. The Soviet Union's going to war with Poland in the the Baltic states. Oh boy! So that means so we got an army here. That means these orange guy, he's going to have to go over here, like this. Um, I would be able to storm through Romania's land pretty easily, I think. The the Axis is stuck. It's gonna be funny. We're not gonna... We wouldn't be... Me and Germany wouldn't be on the same side. Well, we'd be on the same side, but not technically allied. It's 
It's gonna be weird. It's gonna be peculiar. Cause I want I want to take Turkey out. That'll give me access to um, the Middle East. Now, are there any other resources down here that I could use? Surprisingly, no. There's some oil. But that's it. The United Kingdom would have access to all of my North African holdings. Which is, uh, eh, some of my oil. What are we low on? Artillery. Um, that's okay, we'll get them, we'll get them training. We need men in the field. That's, that's not what I want. I want you to do... Seriously? Alright. So we'll give them that order. French are suffering attrition from moving by moving through the mountains, it looks like. Um, do we have more fighters? Those are naval bombers. Those are fighters. I don't know how many extras we have right now, but I don't think- I think it's just a handful. And these are old interwar fighters anywhere. Ooh, dive bombing. So, we're gonna... C-200. Got the maintenance company coming. I know exactly where they're going. MP, maintenance company, field hospital. Field hospital is probably going to be a good idea. Logistics company, signal company, those are all probably good ideas to get in. Let's definitely get the field hospital. I mean, we're, we're, we're basically scraping the barrel right now on, um, on manpower. It, Soviet Union looks like the only person, the only area that's making a little bit of progress. There's some border clashes on the Maginot. There was a, I'm assuming, British naval invasion um, of the north coast of Germany here. They always end up doing that. But I might be a... I wasn't planning on it, but I might be able to take Romania. We forgot to do, actually do this. And give them an offensive line. I don't necessarily care about this too much. Those are, the, those are mountains. So what we're going to do is basically tell them to do this. And uh, snatch up as many of those VPs if, as they can. Because that would be all but two VPs. I mean, this is going to be war on all fronts. Spain's neutral. Will not accept. Base Royal Energy is recovering from a civil war. So let's... Um, we can currently guarantee zero nations. Cancel their military access. Improve relations. Let's improve relations there. See if we can get Spain on our side. Because they'll help in... They would help with Gibraltar and um, North Africa and France. More border skirmishes on the Maginot. This is heating up. Uh, the Soviet Union is definitely eating away at Poland, which is unfortunate for the Polish. Looks like Romania is actually making a little bit of progress against Hungary and their allies. And, and, and meanwhile, the new Italian Roman Republic, or whatever, what, what, it, what it, was it called? Novus Imperium Romanum, so the new Roman Imper Empire. Oh boy. Only down by 350 trucks now. Low on fighters. This would secure me the oil I need. This would secure me some steel and like half the world's tungsten. Well, it's not really. I mean, there's like, no, no, no. That's, that's chromium, isn't it? Chromium. Yeah. Chromium. Greece is still reluctant to join. To accept, fa uh, it's like to accept fascist pressure. I mean, they're they're not aligned. Like we could boost fascist popularity here. That would help. Doing everything we can to get Greece on our side, basically. And what about nationalist Spain's already fascist? 
They just don't want to join, mostly because they're uh, recovering from their civil war still. Let's see the little border skirmishes all over the place. Although, this is way more than a border skir skirmish. Uh, Germany is going to get sandwiched straight in between the Allies and the Comintern. It's going to be bad for them. Bad news bears for Germany. All right, we got direct support. Yeah, why don't we get that? We do have dive bombers. Oh, well, this is going to be a war on many fronts when it breaks out. And this is just destroyers, right? Lots and lots of destroyers. I'm going to allow that. I'm not sure where they're going with it because you can't attack through neutral territory. And I don't actually see them doing it. That's interesting. Oh, and when, so it's only January 1940 right now. Uh, oh, so we... Okay. Now this is going to be dangerous. Because of the... The Brits. But we, what we can do is squish this little pocket, redeploy our units over here, and then use this army to take out um, Cairo, Alexandria, move up toward the Suez Canal. Oh boy. Oh, I don't know if this is a good idea or not, but it's going to make things nice and interesting. Uh, called Bulgaria in. Turkey has called France as our enemy in the uh, Turkish-Italian War. So these guys are going to go. Like that. And they're, this, this border is basically undefended. So that's this army. They're going to move. Romania, I'm not at war with though, right? No, they're a member of the Allies. So, so I was right about that the first time. So this army, which was not in position, no, it was mostly in position, it looks like. Um, let's let's have them start moving too, because this area is basically undefended. And that, that, that's definitely... Turkey did not join the Allies. Turkey joined with Poland. Turkey joined with Poland. Well, that is is weird. Wait, am I not am I not at war with No, I'm not at war with the United Kingdom. I'm at war with France, but not the United Kingdom. Okay, so we'll take those French ports. And I didn't even realize I had divisions up here. Okay. Well, this has definitely been mighty interesting. Uh, we're going to call this episode just a few minutes early and leave it right here. Um, but we're going to be fighting a war in Romania, in Turkey, in France, in Africa, and basically all surrounding the Mediterranean. This is definitely going to be a mighty conflict. And that actually put them even further away from wanting to join the faction because it'll drag them into a war. But anyway, if you have enjoyed this, please just drop me a like. Leave me those comments right down below. And if you're interested in more Benjamin Magnus, please, Hearts of Iron 4, just subscribe to this channel, and I will see you next time.